What's up guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. As you can see we got the cow trailer out in the in the yard today. Went ahead this morning and sweeped it out, cleaned it out, <clears throat> took the water hose, got all the mud and stuff, all the old sand and stuff out. And I just put a fresh layer of matte black paint on the floor. I was gonna cut the whole floor out and I did do some of that today, but it got to where it wasn't as bad as I thought. There's just a few spots that were real bad. And I just went ahead and cut it out the way it's done. And ain't got to worry about it. And um, I got all the 2 by 4 by 6s No. 2 by 6s 2 by 6 by 12s on the trailer. So hopefully I got enough of those. And um, we're going to put a floor in this thing today. Right now we're about to hook the four-wheeler up to it. It says the four-wheeler can pull it. I'm hoping it can because I really don't feel like unhooking that truck and hooking up to this to hook back up to that. And so let's see if she'll let's see if she'll pull it. I think she will. So All right, guys, we are back again today to put the floor, hopefully finish putting the floor in the bottom of this trailer. Um, hopefully. And this is what I was talking about yesterday. We went, or I went and in the head, went ahead and painted the bottom of the trailer. There's still a bunch of screws in there. I got to come here with a grinder and zip off. But I just want to put that little bit of paint down just to, ain't really going to help with much but it'll help kick the rust back just a little bit just cover it up that way nothing's really showing and you see we already got one lady here just to see we're gonna have to cut to fit right there so it'll fit firmly against it i never i didn't end up cutting all the flooring out just so it's it's not the best but it's better than what Eventually, we'll update to a better trailer. But, for today, though, we might end up pulling this door off, too. The more that I look at it. Just for, just to get it out of the way. Yeah, we might end up. I don't know yet. But, let's get to work, y'all.
been much talking in this video and y'all probably like it that way um we did get the floor in the trailer um i gotta bring a drill bit with me from bring a drill go get some more drill bits to finish putting all the screws in because it's going through three sixteenths plate on top of three sixteenths plate or they double layered it which ain't a bad thing and if y'all could y'all probably seen the time lapse um i turned the boards the other way and i did that for a couple reasons one a bunch of the a bunch of the old trailers you see the boards are turned this way and the cow or goat or whatever's hooves because all the boards have enough of a gap through where they can somewhat grip and not trip or slip and um that's the main reason just you see everybody else with boards like this so ran them all this way i actually had to pull two and a half boards out of my pile over there and y'all probably seen me knock my head about 17 times on this damn bar right here but everything's good everything's got to settle in whoa as soon as i uh, screw everything down it'll be good I got all the corner or all the outside beams or put boards screwed to the trailer. The only thing I like is just doing all the inside ones. I'm just going to go through and put a screw in each one of them right in the middle. All of them overlap that quarter inch plate on both sides about between four and eight inches. This one side they put extra wide piece in. But uh, the only thing we lack now is putting those two other bearing buddies on screwing the floor down putting a set of tires on it go get some animals but uh yeah y'all probably seen um seen the four wheeler earlier in the earlier i think it was yesterday's video she pulled this damn thing around she didn't like it though the front end was about a few i say about an inch to two inches from coming off the ground like, there was no pressure on the front end of that four wheeler but um I think I'm going to wrap it up for today's video, guys. This is uh, all I wanted to get done. Like I said, I just got to bring a drill bit with me. One sharper than what I have. That one's pretty dulled out. And um, go get some more. And put the screws in it. And like I said, put a set of tires on it. And um, we're going to be ready to go get some animals. Hopefully get some animals for too long. Um, and hopefully eventually turn Bruce in with Josephine and give Edward a bunch of nannies i got them on hay right now we'll go check them uh, i got y'all up i hope y'all enjoyed today's video y'all um if you haven't already go ahead and like subscribe comment down below and everything and all that good stuff next project is that truck and, um i don't know if i showed y'all on this in today's video this is the uh, new yard dog that's his name yard dog we wasn't gonna keep him. That dang camera keeps on flopping back and forth. But uh, we wasn't gonna keep keep him. But the neighbors were kind enough to bring back his uh brother that he was with that somebody just dumped. And um, for everybody out there, if you don't go and dump dogs off at people's houses, um. You're a real piece. I tell you that you're you're just a real piece because uh, that's just wrong. Don't go and drop somebody's. Don't go drop your dog off of somebody's house when you don't want it or when it gets too big or what. There's plenty of shelters around that I'll take dogs in with a small donation. And it ain't like he's a big dog either. I mean, he ain't no bigger than what Belly is, but uh. Here's everybody. There's Edward. Starting to come up to everybody. These pens have worked out really good for animals coming up to you. I mean, Edward, he would eat out of your hand, but you couldn't pet him, and your nearby can pet him now. Same thing with Bruce and Josephine. I mean, you can go up to him right now and pet him. So this, this barn has had its good advantages to it. And hopefully for too long, we can get some more get Edward some nannies in here for him, start having some babies and start making some money. 
but uh yeah there's the animals the chickens are running around somewhere like i don't know if i told y'all we're supposed to go fishing today and um the trolling motor batteries on the boat wouldn't charge up so i gotta take them to work with me see if i can put one of our big chargers on there but uh yeah trailer's done almost See, put a set of tires on it but uh yeah, put a set of tires on, put the rest of the screws in, grease up the bearings, and should be ready to go. Um, looking for a tractor right now, so we can, I got a bush hog over there right now. I still got that big surprise coming for y'all. Y'all don't, don't forget about it, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video off here, guys. So if you would, please like, subscribe, comment down below, and we will see y'all on the next one.